Hello everyone, this is Collins from Study Africa. Welcome back to General Topology class. In our last class, we treated types of topology. In today's class, we will look at the open set and closed set in a topological space. We begin with the open set. If tau is a topology, then the members of tau are called the open sets of the topology tau. Consider a topological space X and tau, and let Y be a subset of X, such that Y is a member of tau. This implies that Y is an open set. Now we know what an open set is, so we take the closed set. If a given set Y is open, then Y complement is said to be closed. Note that if a set is open and closed at the same time, it is called a clopen set. So in general, in any set X, the set itself and the empty set is called a clopen set. We will see example of this as we go further. So let's take some examples to understand the concept of open and closed sets. So say let X be equal to this and tau be equal to this. You can verify this to see if it's a topology or not. But it is a topology, so we just forge ahead. So if we take any random subset of x, say y equals to abc, we can see that it is a subset of x. But we can also see that y is not a member of tau. So this implies that Y is not open. Now let's also see if it is closed or not. We simply look for Y complement. But how do we do that? We say Y complement is equal to the entire set X minus the subset Y. This is equal to the element of X minus the element of Y, which is equal to DE. And we can see that the set DE is not a member of tau. This implies that Y is not closed. Therefore, Y is neither open nor closed. What about the set X? Recall that every set is a subset of itself. So X is a subset of itself. And we can see that X is also a member of tau. This implies that X is an open set because it's a subset of itself and it's a member of tau. Now, we check if X is closed or not. We simply look for the complement of X. So X complement is equal to X minus X, which is equal to the empty set. And the empty set is a member of tau. So this also shows that X is closed. Now this means that the set X is a clopen set. So we've gotten a good example of a clopen set. Another example is the empty set. The empty set is also a clopen set because it is a member of tau and its complement is the set X which is a member of tau. Let's play around with another subset of X. Say U equals to CD. We can see that u is a subset of x and we can also see that u is a member of tau. So this implies that u is open. Now let's see if it is also closed or not. We simply look for u complement. u complement is equal to x minus u which is equal to the, set, sub, the element of x minus the element of u which is equal to abe which is not a member of tau. And this implies that U is not closed. So feel free to play around with any subset of X to see if they will be open or closed. Subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified when I upload more videos like this on Study Africa. Comment on this video. Please like and share. Thanks for watching.